Today we're going to take a quick look at one of the Plugo plugin uh, Max for Live devices. Uh, it's called Xformer, and basically it's kind of a gapper or transform tool. What we're going to do is we're going to use it to make a little guitar track kind of fit a, a drum clip that we're using. <clears throat> here's the Here's the drum clip that I like. It happens to be from the standard clips that come with live. I've tweaked it a little by adding some delay, but it's just a really kind of basic little trippy um, kit sound. The tone that I like for the guitar that I would like to go along with this is from this track. I kind of like the long form sound and I kind of like the, the sort of almost subharmonic sound of the track. But the thing is, the kit sounds very sharp pointed, kind of angular, and the guitar sounds pretty lackadaisical. And I would like to kind of get those two to work a little bit more closely together. Also, because I'm using the delay on the kit, it'd be nice to kind of do something with a rhythmic delay on the guitar sound so that it would kind of blend in together a little more nicely. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to use the, um, I, I'm going to go into the Max Audio Effects. The bottom of the Plugo plugin set, there's a plugin called Xformer, and just for grins, I'm going to use the Dit Dit Da uh, plugin. This is or preset. The Dit Dit Da preset is uh, going to be really helpful for us because it gives us 32 gapper steps. For each, for each bar. So if I just play the guitar track now, we'll hear that it chops it up really tightly. So it's, it just basically implies some rhythm on top of the guitar track. One of the problems though is that it's, a, it's kind of an open guitar sound and the really sharp attack actually gives it a little percussive, percussive click at the beginning of the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the attack by a very small amount. In this case, just like 79 milliseconds. Now let's hear it. You can see that this has pulled out that uh, leading attack completely. I'm also going to play around with the decay to try and find the right mix of chopped off while still maintaining a tar tone. So that sounds pretty great. Um, it certainly gives us a little more rhythmic action, uh, but in a way it's uh, perhaps a little bit uh, still too long tone of an instrument. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking out some of the steps from the left and the right sides, and you'll be able to hear as we're slowly and gradually thinning out the guitar sound. Okay, so now I've really kind of minimalized the sound. You can still hear that it's a long tone, but it's moving back and forth an awful lot. Now the next thing I'm going to do, something I really like doing after uh, use of the Xformer, is I'm going to take uh, the simple delay, which is so, so useful in these kinds of cases, and I'm going to stick it at the end of this track. So now it's going to start giving me some delay on those... Um, in in time with the rest of the track. And now I'll add in the kit to make sure we're getting something that fits in nicely. Seems to be fitting in really well. 
Now the top of the bottom of the X former determines which which steps are muted. You can see in this case, you get an awful lot of steps out of this track. What the top half does is it applies an accent to the steps. And what the accent does is it actually gives about a 20% boost to the channel and the step that's lit up. Now what I want to do is I want to use this to sort of reinforce the pulse of the track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually accent every fourth step and leave the other ones full, fall off. Okay, that may be just a little bit too straight, and also it's increasing them both uh, simultaneously on, on each channel. What I'm going to do is play around with just doing steps on either side of the primary eighth notes, and let's hear how that might change the feeling of a pulse. <laughs> Okay, so it changes it a little bit. It's kind of a subtle effect, but it's one that's pretty useful when you're really trying to do that last little bit of work on a track to make it really slot in nicely. So this is a quick view of how you'd use the, the Xformer Max for Live tool. Um, it's useful for everything from manipulating percussion tracks, to taking long form pads, making them more percussive, you can either by uh, using longer attack and decay times, you can even add just a, a subtle pulse without ever gapping the, the track at all. I really suggest that you give this thing a try because it's an awful lot of fun and it really gives you a lot of flexibility with manipulating the tracks.